So today I want to talk about a word that many women across the world find very difficult to talk about. And that word is menopause. Why do women find it difficult to talk about this term, which is important in their lives, is because there's so much stigma, there's so much shame, and there's so many cliches attached to this word that I think we just find it difficult to share our own personal stories and experiences. And I want to take a closer look at this word, which comes to us from Greek, ancient Greek, and it's composed of two parts. On the one hand, you have pausis, which means pause, and on the other hand, you have men, which means month. So in a way, menopause is the cessation, the natural cessation of monthly menstruation cycles. And it is not a sudden and abrupt change in one's life. Actually, it is a long journey. It's a long and hard journey, I might add. And therefore, it has so many stages. We can talk about perimenopause. We can talk about premenopause and menopause itself. It can start um, any time from 40s, once, you know, 40s, all the way into maybe the age 55. But I'm giving you a very general picture. So there isn't just one rule fits all. Um, in fact, individual experiences might vary, but on average, um, many women from 40s onwards experience this journey. I remember going to this very lovely literary festival recently, and one of the authors who was taking part with me in that festival, uh, he looked up and he saw a menopause clinic, and he said, I just don't understand, you know, there are people talking about menopause at this literary festival. There's a clinic over there. Uh, how can people call it a taboo? Clearly, it's not a taboo. And that got me thinking, really, because I think the very fact that some of us can talk about menopause, maybe at a literary festival, or the very fact that there are few menopause clinics here and there across the world, does not mean that there's no stigma attached to this term still. Unfortunately, there is. You know, the society where I come from, Turkey, across the Middle East, but not only in these parts of the world, everywhere across the world, I think we need to talk about why is it so difficult to, um, to share experiences of perimenopause or menopause, but also we need to talk about ageism, which affects women so deeply, you know. And I don't think in that regard we can say that, oh, we're just beyond, you know, worrying about the taboo aspect of menopause because we're not. We're not there at all. And that is why I think it's important that we talk about it, that we share our stories. I also want to tell you that I mentioned I come from a deeply um, patriarchal society, but such societies can also revere respect the matriarch. So for instance, we always respect our grandmothers. I myself was raised by a grandmother and I've seen how the matriarchs can be respected in the private space. That is not a contradiction. Actually, it is very much in line with what I'm saying because patriarchal societies respect women only and only when women are regarded as defeminized, desexualized, not as women anymore. You know, when we become grandmothers, when we become old enough in the eyes of the society, then we are put in a different category altogether. But until then, women are not respected and are not treated equally as men. So, so there's an interesting trap here. On the one hand, as women, we are taught to be ashamed of menstruation, of having periods, um, not we're taught we're taught not to talk about it. On the other hand, as women, we're also taught to be ashamed of menopause. In other words, the cessation, the stopping of menstruation. So either way, whether you are here on your journey or you're there on your journey, you are taught to be ashamed of your own body. And I think we need to realize that. In such a setting, shame follows us like a shadow. And there comes a point when we need to say, enough, I'm tired of you following me like a shadow. There comes a point we need to get rid of all these stigmas and taboos and this shame that is not ours, but that's imposed on our shoulders. And that's why I find it so important that we talk about menopause, we celebrate all the journeys that we go through 
in life without judgments, without stigma, and definitely, definitely without shame.